Hey guys, you're back with Arbiter. Um, I thought as a little add-on since my last video ran over that I would go over a few stuff extra. Um, I'd like to say first of all that I was the other day watching a few videos made by Orb, some, uh, one of the tutorial people I used to watch, and I realised that my wire tutorials are quite similar to the ones he made, which are the ones that I actually learned wire from. So obviously I'm not trying to copy, even if I was you know, I'd obviously be no match. <coughs> but I'm not trying to plagiarise and obviously I'm only I I only came up with the same ideas because obviously his tutorials are so good that they just stuck in my head. Anyway, on with the detection. Um right, first of all I'm going to show you the gyroscope. The gyroscope, very simple tool. You can spawn it and it shows you the angles, pitch your and roll of a prop or indeed a surface. See the world is very very flat and has no rotation or anything but if I was to see at this moment it's it's almost zero it's 0.56 but if I was to say move it you can see the angles are quite different if I was to move it to the right there <coughs> and it just basically shows you the offset angles of a prop. Now you would apply that by saying if you had a prop and you were trying to keep it level, you would say that if, like put a comparison down and say that, <coughs> excuse me, um, if the angles got below a certain value or above a certain value, fire a thruster or do something to level out and that would just keep, it's good for helicopters or planes or just as a, you know, a validation tool. Secondly, I'm going to use the Ranger and the Ranger is very simple as well, just measures the distance between a few objects. So you've got settings here, the range that it shows, I'm just see so set that as five hundred. Um you could show a beam to output, you could tell it to ignore the world or to output a number of things. And basically what that does, if you spawn it, it'll tell the it'll range and tell you so it's saying that out of the max range is a five hundred, it's hitting something at forty eight. If I was to move this out of the way, you could say that the range is zero because it's reaching its max range and it's not hitting anything. But if I was to move this back in the way, obviously it hits. Now, what I used to use this for before I started using target finders instead was as a tripwire. So I could move this down here and I would have a comparison gate that would say as soon as that is less than the distance to there, so if I move in the way, it has detected me. Oh, it should have done there, 40. So as soon as that was less than that, it would be a comparison gate and it would fire. Like I, w I would have a turret set up there and it would, it, I'll put this in a doorway and it would shoot me back out. So that's the kind of thing I used to do with rangers and obviously you can use other things. Um, a speedometer, I've already shown you this in a little bit of um, detail with the car I made earlier on. If you just made a screen here, obviously ignore the fact that it says Z-Pause and set it to miles per hour. Um, although it's saying nothing there, if I was to move this about, you can see that I've given it a speed there. If I was to shoot it off into the distance or bring it back, you can see that the speed is you know, increasing and decreasing. It's just showing the speed of something. So you can attach that old prop and see how fast it's going. <coughs> um, second, a water sensor. Basically, I, c I will show you this improperly, but there's no water in this map, so I can't. Um, but basically what it does is, if it goes into water, it basically tells you that it is. So if I was, I'm not sure, if I was to spawn a, s a screen, I'm not that keen, that I've never really used a water sensor, but... Uh, I suppose, if that's, since that's wired up, if I was underwater, I, have, I, I imagine the value would be 1. So, you know, difference, you could possibly have different settings for different things. Um, a suppose I should tell you, I was going to show you something in detail about the GPS and this is quite a good one. I'm also going to cover another topic. So I'm going to spawn a GPS and an arithmetic add gate and then I'm going to spawn a constant value of 10, maybe 20. And I'm going to source spawn a radio. It's going to be a three value radio and it's going to be there. Right, now, a, a GPS can output the position of where it is on the map. 
which is very useful for you know telling where you are or whatever but in specifics right I'm gonna transmit X Y and Z coordinates which is what it gives out obviously across this radio oh sorry the Z coordinate I'm going to add 22 for purposes you will see now that is transmitting on a radio and what I'm going to make on let's say over here is this that also comes in the wire tools that's a very very useful thing it's in entities and it is a hover drive controller now I'm just gonna go into this briefly <coughs> I'm going to s weld myself a seat onto it and I'm going to make a pod controller which you already know because you should be watching my other tutorials uh, well that okay now I'm going to spawn a radio on this thing and as well as a hoverball on the top just to keep it you know on the level <coughs> okay so I'm going to wire this up you can see that the hover drive controller has wire inputs and it's basically you have to feed it coordinates so I'm going to say that the X is obviously on channel uh, input 1 Y is on output 2 and Z is on output 3 there you go and I'm going to say I don't know what jump depreciate it is or jump vector or sound so I'm just going to leave that but all you need is jump I'm going to say jump on let's say uh, space so hopefully now that it's oh god <laughs> Right, now that it's receiving coordinates from the radio, which are transmitting from the plate over there, I'm going to sit in this, and when I press the space, I teleport to the GPS coordinates that are being fed through the radio. And that is a simple teleporter, which is quite impressive for most people who don't know how to use wire. And of course, you can use that for many different things but since this is a detection tutorial I'm not going to get into that although it is quite cool <coughs> and that's basically some of the things you can do with wire detection and that's about it this is a very short video so thank you for watching and I'll see you later